What is dead may never die, just like this series. My name is Burton and you're joining us for episode 15.5 or 15 and a half. It's just an episode that I am going to make up on the spot because you know what? We haven't actually recorded enough to cover a Friday episode. So I thought I'm just going to stand here, or sit here even, with a beer and waffle a little bit. Um, the waffle itself is going to be okay because a lot of you guys seemed disappointed when episode 15 came out. There was many uh, comments saying, oh, I hate it when you guys finish these series and you don't do a conclusion, or why have you got to keep finishing it like that? Oh, you know what? Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm here for one more recording session, and in this session, hopefully, we will get the final episode done. We'll have a conclusion. So this episode is really going to be about what it is that we, the Ironborn, and you, my thralls, what are we going to do uh, to finalise things here? So if you're one of the guys who plays the multiplayer, turn off this video now. NG, turn it off. Yep, there we go. Jeronka, off. Go away. Oh. God damn it. Um, so... We've got plans to formulate. Um, aren't we the only person not at war right now? I think so. Um, yeah, that's a little bit strange considering we're the only person who can pretty much attack anyone because we can raid. We were having a look last time about the uh, the the CBs that we could do for invasions. Now it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do any invasion CBs. It's not going to work. We need to have a certain amount of piety and we also need to have some traits that Victorium really doesn't have. Not a problem, because this game is going to end soon. Invasions would be pointless for us because what's the point in us taking land when this series is going to end? So we're going to go back to scratch, we're going to go back to the raiding. Now ideally, I was playing for the long game before, uh, I didn't know we were going to finish so soon so Apologies, I haven't been uh, thinking, or well, thinking with my focus in mind. Um, so, here's an option for you guys. I can attack any one of the kingdoms, absolutely anyone. So I want you to put in the comments who I should attack and why I should attack them. Now, before you all jump on the bandwagon and say, let's attack the north, let's get vengeance, think about this. We've battled the North twice. It was a long war of attrition. We lost both times. Do we really want to see that again a third time? There are plenty of other targets. So there is a paradox. He's the Lannisters, the Westerlands, the man who does not like to move or commit his troops. Should we land on his soil again? Perhaps. We've got NG, who's in a spot of bother in the Reach. His uh, internal struggles may prove to be a distraction for him. Maybe we should uh, land there and do something. Who else have we got? We've got Jackie Fish, our former ally, or current ally, should I say, who's in Dawn. Do we, uh, do we go against our words and turn on the fish? Who's to say? But what about the king? King Vujo. Ah, oh, well, you know what? This land has seen not a lot of peace, and I can't help but blame the king. So maybe we should take a little trip on over to King's Landing and see what's what. I hear they have very nice women there. Maybe I can take myself a, a couple of salt wipes. Yeah, that would be nice. So the decision, my friends, is yours. We're not going to go anywhere else, we're not going to go to this, we're not going to go to the Summer House. Nothing like that. There'll be one of the players in Westeros who's going to get Iron Boned. Yes, I'm, I'm copywriting that term right now, Iron Boned. So one of them is going to get it. The question is, which one? Okay guys, leave some comments, leave some suggestions. We are recording this Sunday, so you've got that one to get your suggestions in two days. Okay, thanks for watching.